Well, my MGA Fastback has been sitting neglected for almost the whole summer now. Time to give it a little bit of love. And so what I'm going to do now, we're going to start dedicating one day a week to my own projects, which would be this, uh, my engine for my autocrosser, and at some point, Ginsu. And uh, so we can maybe at least get one or two videos a month out on those projects rather than not doing anything at all to them for a while. So what we're going to start out with on this today are window frames in the back. Now that this one's gone through three or four iterations to, before I came up with the final shape, now I need to duplicate this for the other side. Let's get going. Well, first, before we can actually make a frame, we got to cut a strip of steel. We got 20 gauge, which is what I made the other one out of. And we need a inch and five eighths strip cut off of here. So we'll get that cut off and then we can bend it. So the widest part of this is actually about an inch and an eighth. And then we got about a, uh, we got a half inch here. So I made this inch and five eighths. That'll give us plenty of room to, after it's bent, it should be just a little bit long here. Then I can trim this down because it tapers down here from what it is up here to fit the car. So we want it to make sure it's at least as wide as that. So now I'll just mark this thing at a half an inch right here. And then we'll take it over to the leaf brake and bend it. So put this in the brake with the half inch flange in because that'll grow the least amount. But basically what's in the brake is growing about 50% and what's outside here will grow about 150% on bend allowances. And then we'll bend it up to 90 degrees. And now we're ready to start shrinking it and actually shaping it to fit around the window. So I know to get around this is about 42 inches based on that frame that I already made. This is 48 inches. So I'll be able to start a couple inches in and start shaping it from the end here. And we'll start shrinking, shrinking this edge here to fit along here and try to get the shape of this to fit roughly about an eighth of an inch gap all the way around. And then we'll start taking the shrinker on this, or the stretcher on this edge to stretch it to do this curve here. And try to get it to match that pretty well so that the seal can seal it nicely. So now we'll be speeding up the video on that so it doesn't take you guys as long to watch it, but that part of the process literally took about 10 minutes. got a little too much and just come in here with the stretcher and take it right back out.
So at this point, I want to start getting some shape in it this way. And then once we get it fitting closer to this way, then we can fine tune the shape this way. So that's really close now. I'm, I have to double check how it fit the other side. I actually ended up not being a perfect match to get it to fit the body better to, and within the amount that the seal will flex. So I have to double check that versus the fit of the other side to be sure on that curve. But now what I need is some minor tweaking around here to get it nice and even, and then we can go on to working at the front. All right, so now I've spent a bit more time just tweaking on this a little bit, which took more time than making it initially, just to get it to fit around the outer edge of this really nicely and to be a pretty decent uh, match to this one in overall shape. So, now it's time to start making this whole end piece here, which is actually gonna be made out of several pieces. So what I started with, once again, just cut a little strip, bend it into a 90, which this time it's half inch this way and 13 16 this way. But now I gotta put this in and stretch it, do the same thing I did with this, because it has to match this curve here. So, We'll do that real quick and move on to the next step. I went ahead and cut another little piece to match this here. And we'll tack that onto this. Gotta make sure we tack it the right direction, not this way. It's gotta be this way to be an opposite. And then we can trim this up and this so that these can be put together. So I went ahead and tacked that on there. So it's now the opposite of that. So now I just got to sit here and spend some time figuring out exactly where I'm going to cut this and how I'm going to join these together the best way. I don't want to do it exactly the way I did on this because this one here I'd put together and cut apart three times before I ended up with what I've got here. So I don't want as many pieces here. I want to do it as one as a little nicer than this. So after a bit of careful measuring, uh, some thought, I've now got this piece here put in the front of this to where this piece of glass fits into this frame the same way this piece of glass fits in there. Because I need to have oops, a certain amount of space up here because there's still a the the chrome hinge piece that goes up in here that'll get uh, screwed into this that allows that to hinge and I need to make sure I got enough room for that and right now I can't find that so I'm going off the measurements from this one how this one fits to make it the same as this so next I need to make the piece goes across the front here. And what I did on that one was I just cut a straight piece across. 
so where it stuck out further than I needed it to. And then I come in here and scribe this at a set height and then cut it off to match that curve. So I'll make that piece next, get that tacked on. Well, I went ahead and cut a little strip here, got that bent tacked in place. So now I'm ready to start marking out all that curve there to get that um, just like this is here. But if you'll notice, if you compare these two, this is a pretty consistent width just down through here, but then it gets wider to match the roof line. So now I got to take all the measurements to figure out how that's all going to look. And then mark all this up, do all my trimming on this piece here, and then it'll be ready to figure out the position on the car and start mount and get it mounted up the same way I had the other side. But that's all we're going to have time for today, or for today, sorry. So we'll see you next time.